Joining us now via Skype with more on Operation Northern Shield and more specifically how Israel will deal with Hezbollah's rocket arsenal is Dr. Eli Carmon, senior researcher at the National Institute for Counterterrorism in Herzliya. Uh, Dr. Carmon, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right, so my first question, uh, Dr. Carmon, is, you know, are, are we going to see an escalation here along the north or is, uh, is Lebanon and Hezbollah more likely to kind of allow this to continue as long as it's on Israel's side? Uh, interestingly, for the moment, the Hezbollah itself, as organization, is very quiet and there is no real reaction. But from the hints of the uh, Lebanese authorities, especially the head, uh, the chairman of the parliament, Nabi Berry, it is understood that if uh, the work would be done only on the Israeli side, there is no real uh, threat of uh, escalation. But again, you never know what happens, especially if uh, the other tunnels are more sophisticated, perhaps they uh, are uh, more important for Hezbollah. So we have to see, and clearly IDF is prepared for any scenario. All right, now we heard earlier from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and, and many other officials that you know this is a gross violation of UN resolution, uh, UN Security Council Resolution 1701, which you know established the demilitarized zone between uh, the Golan and, and Lebanon. So, you know, is the UN likely to do anything about this? Oh, uh, well, our experience, uh, historical experience, uh, says that nothing uh, really has been done. For instance, uh, uh, one uh, the, uh, resolution 1701 asked not to send uh, weapons to Hezbollah, a clear embargo, international embargo. There were only German ships uh, uh, near the Beirut air, uh, port, uh, harbor. But actually, uh, most of the weapons arrived through Damascus and the Syrian border. Nobody stopped them. Uh, so uh, I don't see any real change in the near future. Perhaps the UNIFIL and the international pressure, especially by the United States and uh, European countries headed by France, which has special interest in Lebanon, perhaps it will help to bring some uh, more pressure inside Lebanon. The problem is that there is no government in Lebanon. In uh, many senses, uh, the uh, government or the existence of, of a government depends on the Hezbollah, which controls uh, most of the parliament. Sure. Well, I mean, we do know that Hezbollah is, is now, uh, at least in Lebanon's parliament, a legitimate party and a very strong one. Um, but aside from that, let's, let's talk now about their missile arsenal, which is expected to be larger than most EU countries at around 100, 150,000 precision guided rockets. What does Israel plan to do about that? Uh, first of all, we must understand that although the tunnels are very important, because this was the tool used to be used in case they wanted to attack uh, Israeli territory in the Galilee, uh, small towns and villages, uh, and it was an important uh, part of the operation in the case of war. But still, the real strategic threat are the uh, long-range uh, missiles, uh, not only hundreds of thousands, but uh, several thousands probably, which are the precise long-range missiles. And if they are fired uh, uh, once, uh, several hundreds or several dozens of them, we saw what happened in uh, Hamas several weeks ago. The fact that they uh, fired 500 uh, uh, missiles uh, almost uh, on the same hours, uh, it not uh, neutralized, but uh, it challenged a lot our anti-missile defense. So uh, this arsenal, a precise arsenal, which they want to develop and upgrade, is threatening the strategic targets. I mean, the uh, airports, military airports, the uh, power stations, the uh, 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 central command of, if you want, in uh, uh, and the Ministry of Defense in uh, Central Tel Aviv, and also clearly the civil population. But uh, that's one of the reasons that Israel is now making pressure, uh, publicizing the information that we have that many of these uh, missiles are uh, probably in uh, civil places like the stadium in Beirut. Uh, they are arriving probably directly uh, through the Beirut airport lately, uh, and also uh, we asking we are asking I mean our government to uh, put pressure on the Lebanese in order to stop this kind of uh, activity. Uh, if he will not stop, I think there are uh, good chances that Israel will have to decide, the uh, Israeli leadership they will have to decide if they continue to uh, lead, to, to leave uh, Hezbollah to arm really with all these strategic weapons and do nothing and threaten much, much more uh, Israel in the future. All right, Dr. Kalman, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.